الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أحبت في الله Whoever has nothing good to say, they keep silent This is from the prophetic guidance of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam This is Islamic manners, this is Islamic adab This is from the Sunnah of the Nabiyyina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And this is the Sunnah of the Salaf al-Salih Ridwan Allah alayhim So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawm al-akhir Liyasmat Yukul khair, fal yukul khair Whoever believes in Allah in the Day of Judgment, then he should say something good or keep silent. So, Ahabatifillah, we have to watch our tongue. That from the Islamic mannerisms to observe, incredibly important, is that we keep silent if we have nothing good to say. That we should, when we become angry, we should strive to keep silent or diffuse our anger by saying something good and if we have nothing good to say then from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is to keep silent and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tied that with iman he said man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawm al akhir Whoever believes in Allah and the Day of Judgment, then say something good or keep silent. So the Prophet ﷺ showed us and let us know that that's from Iman. That is from Iman. That is a characteristic of Ahl Iman. Ahl Iman was Sunnah. So I advise myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam to keep silent or say uh, to keep uh, say something good or keep silent so sometimes we want to be ob obsessive about a topic and we want to speak ill about others or we want to backbite and we want to entertain with namima you know by slandering and carrying tales and it happens to us all we become casual with the tongue but if we can keep in mind and reflect upon the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this hadith alone then that will help us to to have the proper mannerisms. Men kana yu'minu billahi wa yawm al-akhir. Whoever believes in Allah in the day of judgment, then say something good or keep or keep silent. Saying something good, Ahabatifillah, shows us uh, 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 or that that is a khasala iman. That's a characteristic of iman. That is a characteristic of faith. That a person speaks good. Do your best, strive your best to say a kalimat al tayyib. Kalimat al tayyib is the urwat al wuthqa that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran and orders us to hold fast to. Urwat al wuthqa, and that's the kalimat al tawheed. That's tawheed ilah. So by making dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, saying, La ilaha illallah. وَأَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَأَشَرُوَنْ لَا إِلَىٰ إِلَىٰ اللَّهِ وَأَشَرُوَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ Making the testimony of faith. I bear witness that there's no God worthy of worship except Allah. And that Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah. صلى الله عليه وسلم That's كلمة الطيب. That is a, a, a good word. That is the best ibara. And making dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's on the tongue. And that's from Iman. And that's a statement of khair. So, here the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even in this hadith, or in this part of the hadith that we mention, مَنْ كَانَ يُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ فَلْيُقُلْ خَيْرِ وَلَيَصْمَطْ That in this part of the hadith, this shows us that Iman is also on the tongue. That our Iman is statements of the tongue. Likewise, if we mention the whole hadith, we'll find that also actions are a part of Iman. So this is a rad, a refutation of the murjia. Those people who say Iman is not, uh, does not include the actions, or actions are outside of Iman, or the various ways 
of that they negate the fact that Iman is also on the limbs and actions and deeds. And Ahl Sunnah knows with certainty that Iman is made up of actions of the heart, you know, our belief in the heart, statement of the tongue, like we said, like in this hadith, to mention something khair, and action of the limbs, doing righteous deeds. All of that is from Iman. So Iman is three parts. And there are so many ahadith, and so many ayat, which illustrate this for us. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahl Iman, wa Ahl Sunnah, and to be of those who speak good and keep silent when it comes to evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.